Welcome to VTOP10 and today's video we're counting down 10 Alexis Arguello greatest knockouts. Number 10. Alexis Arguello vs Kevin Rooney. On July 31, 1982, Arguello beat Kevin Rooney by knockout at 3.07 of round 2 of 10 at Bally's Park Place, Atlantic City, New Jersey US. 154 pounds, that's not a bad blemish on his record. Arguello. He's not moving side to side. I I think he bots him. I think he's really the best attack. Tim, you're only a... Woody would have stood up. Oh, there's a solid right hand landed by Arguello. Another right hand lands from Arguello. Woody goes to the body. Crazy move. Another big right hand that bubbles. He's back, but he's taking the shots. Arguello's a blocking hole. Oh, Number 9. Alexis Arguello vs. Jose Fernandez. On August 3, 1977, Arguello beat Jose Fernandez by TKO at 2.06 of round 1 of 10 at Madison Square Garden, New York City, U.S. Like I say, don't take your eyes off him. Because he couldn't make the weight anymore. One of the best punches I've ever seen in boxing. Especially for a light man. And he is light. He's only 131 and a half pounds. Two minutes to go in the first round. Jose Fernandez is a very good fighter. But he's in there with an exceptional puncher. Right hand to the body. He's been down twice in this round. Any kind of a knockdown now where he hits the floor, his knee hits the canvas, that'll be the end of the bout. That's the rule. Fernandez is a good fighter. You can tell what kind of a punch Arguello is. He can put Fernandez on the floor twice in the first round. He's got to be an exceptional punch. One minute to go. It's going to be a long minute for Jose Fernandez. That's it. That'll be the end of the bout. That's it. Number eight, Alexis Arguello versus Royal Kobayashi. On October 12, 1975, defending WBA, the ring, and lineal featherweight titles, Arguello beat Royal Kobayashi by knockout at 2:47 of round five of 15. Number 7. Alexis Arguello vs. James Bussin. On February 13, 1982, defending WBC and the ring lightweight titles Arguello beat James Bussin by TKO at 2.35 of round 6 of 15. Stop! 
Number 6. Alexis Arguello vs. Ray Mancini. On October 3, 1981, defending WBC in the ring lightweight titles Arguello beat Ray Mancini by TKO at 144 of round 14 of 15. Side from the champion Arguello, his... Chopping right from the... I... Oh, Mancini got rocked there! The explosive thin man showing some pop with that right hand again. Now Mancini in a retreat. Long right hand from Arguello just missed of his lightweight championship. Left hand right to the chest. Oh, and a right hand drops Mancini. And referee Tony Perez has stopped it! Number 5. Alexis Arguello vs. Roberto Elizondo. On November 21, 1981, defending WBC in the ring lightweight titles Arguello beat Roberto Elizondo by knockout at 307 of round 7 of 15. Quite a contrast in championship style. The long right also has a very good write-up because he's just, he just about has everything. He's really a tough guy to try to figure out how to beat. Thing over and over again, and right and left hook. I know if I was working with Aguayo, I'd, I'd be telling him to move side to side, a little lateral movement. Toe to toe they go, and down goes Elizondo. Ford well, but the champion Arguello sent Elizondo to the canvas. Way has that right hand cocked. There it is. Yeah, Joe Boat Hotel in Las Vegas, lightweight championship action. We'll be back. From here, one of the great champions, and an obviously very competitive challenge. Just missed with that long right hand. Less than 30 seconds to go. Right to the chin of Elizondo, and fortunately for a tremendous punch. And down he goes again, and that might be the finish. But he has heard it was a body punch, and that's it. He cannot continue. Number four, Alexis Arguello versus Salvador Torres. On June 19, 1976, defending WBA, The Ring, and Lineal Featherweight titles Arguello beat Salvador Torres by knockout at 125 of round 3 of 15. Continúa yendo ahora sí Salvador Torres, cambio de golpes, la zurda de Arguello llegó primero, falló cortándole completamente al respeto. Ahora sí, de pelea, ahora sí vuelve Arguello nuevamente, derecha que se estrella ahí, el gancho de zurda por parte de Salvador, una zurda que se estrelló en pleno mentón de Salvador Torres y se fue a la lona y se está doblando las piernas nuevamente, el golpe fue en plena mandíbula, una zurda cortita, trata de levantarse a como de lugar Salvador Torres. Number three. Alexis Arguello vs. Ruben Castillo. On January 20, 1980, defending WBC Super Featherweight title Arguello beat Ruben Castillo by TKO at 203 of round 11 of 15. It's 44 and 0 as a pro. Off with the left after a right late. Hopefully. Oh, a good right the two. Because the punch remains in the arm. Remember, this is the 10th round. It's a Castillo. The end of the round. Employing steady movement up until this round. Right there, right. What counts here is the effectiveness with which he punches. Aguayo is measuring him. Now Aguayo is in command of this fight. He took command totally in the last round. And the kid is hurt against the ropes. We told you, Aguayo is a 15-round fighter. He's proved it. KO'd Escalera twice, each time in the 13th round. Kid must get off the ropes. He is now looking to hold on. Wildly trying to fight back. The crowd mistakes it for a display of strength this round. Castillo still against those ropes in the corner. He faces potential destruction that way. Aguayo throwing blows, and then the kid goes down. It was inevitable. A game kid putting up a marvelous demonstration. Not only of guts, a vigor and determination. Oh, I hope he 
stops it. He did. Number 2. Alexis Arguello vs. Andrew Ganigan. On May 22, 1982, defending WBC in the ring lightweight titles Arguello beat Andrew Ganigan by knockout at 3.09 of round 5 of 15 in one vacant linear lightweight title. The body by Ganigan. And the champ shorter than Aguayo, and he has been reaching in a little bit. If he gets nailed coming in. Oh, good luck, there goes Aguayo. Aguayo, straight right hand to the forehead, and then a good left to the body of Gannigan. Solid right hand screen, Andy Gannigan from Honolulu, Hawaii. Aguayo blocks the next two punches. Tim Eddie. Gannigan picked it up well. Oh, he knocks him down with a solid right hand. It's up wide open. There, he just got nailed with a good left hook. By Arguello. And a right hand staggers Gannigan at the bell. Successfully with his forearm and gloves. Landrum. Chance. 72 inch reach for the champion. Scores a right hand. Under a minute to go. Round number four. Good left hand by the champion. And a right to the body. Arguello scores another. Tim is that Gannigan has to reach. And a Solid right hand. There was an example. Gannigan had to reach in. Got nailed. Good right hand followed it from Arguello. The champion knocks him down at the bell. He has to get up, Tim. If he doesn't get up, the fight's over. The floor at the bell. He has to get up. He's gonna make it. He cannot get up. It is over. A fifth round knock. Number one, Alexis Arguello versus Ruben Olivares. On November 23, 1974, Arguello beat defending WBA featherweight title Ruben Olivares by knockout at 1.20 of round 13 of 15 at the Forum, Inglewood, California, U.S. Referee Ding Jong, y ahí bonito prendieron a Olivares. Ahí vuelve nuevamente y nota todavía bastante nervioso a Olivares y ahí lo re... Pero debido a... Olivares tratando de llegarle con el jab por dentro y la verdad que siempre que Olivares ha tirado el jab por dentro le llega el nicaragüense es la juventud de Ar... una derecha preciosa recuerda la pelea con Chucho Castillo la segunda ahí entró Olivares se enganchó a que se viniera rápidamente a pelear y creemos que esto solamente lo hacen los novatos Olivares lo acaba de hacer está cambiando cuero hay que decirles que las piernas de Olivares no están respondiendo bastante bien, está cambiando cuero Olivares, pero se está metiendo en la boca del lobo, ya que sus piernas está, no están respondiendo bien. Ahí vemos, Arguello lo prendió bien con la derecha, perfecta la derecha, se la sincronizó y se va por segunda vez a la lona Olivares, por segunda vez a la lona Olivares. Un vuelco total el que ha tenido esta pelea en el treceavo round. La llevaba completa y están declarando lo nocaudo Olivares. Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.